And we're back at the Kessel Athletic Center, Canisius beating St. Peter's 72-58 here on the postgame show. Looking for head coach uh, Reggie Witherspoon is joining us here. And, of course, a little late getting over here. A little longer exchange than normal at uh, center court with uh, Coach Dunn. Do you want to share anything about what's going on? I gave him his nickname, The Grinder. Uh, just does a great job. I've known him for a while and um, just a great job. Your, your team's got to be ready to play when you when you play against him and everybody in the league knows that. So it's interesting you call him the grinder and then most certainly his team reflects that and perhaps maybe does that that play into the way you sub tonight. You, they went for some long stretches including at a key part in the second half with almost all subs on the floor. Us or them? Us going for all subs on the floor. Yeah they have a deep team. They play a lot of people. What I didn't want to do was get our guys out there and get drained. I wanted to position our guys who started the game to be able to finish the game. And I thought our energy wasn't where we needed it to be. So uh, I wanted to make sure they got the proper rest. And, I, and, the, and the fact that the guys who played in the game have been playing pretty well in practice. And, and, and I was hoping that they would be able to contribute. And they did. Selvin and Planich, it's early in the game. It didn't seem like you liked his defense, but he came up pretty big in, in the second half for you. He did. I thought, again, and that may have been uh, a reflection of him being able to get some rest. We, you know, we played uh, six post players today, and um, I think him being able to go in and come out and get his mind refreshed and get his body refreshed helped him. Early on, the physicality of it looked like it was going to overcome him. But then he was able to recover, and I thought he did give us some, some really good minutes. Defensively, uh, Richard Walsh was commenting that he really sees a, a difference in the approach here. Maybe, can you talk about that a little bit? I mean, is that something that you guys have been working on? Wow, we have been working on it really hard. We, we really worked hard at it last year. It takes time, I think, to build a defensive culture. And um, we have tried to establish what we want to do and then be able to have enough confidence, our guys, to be able to dictate it to our opponent and we've gotten better we have a ways to go but we've gotten better and finally uh, we didn't talk about him yet uh, to call Molson with 23 points tonight and again a guy who doesn't look like a freshman yeah he's a tough matchup for a lot of teams because he can do it um, in a lot of different ways you know he can hurt you with his defense his, his rebounding his toughness but he can shoot it and handle it and get to the glass too and I, I think that presents a, a tough matchup for a lot of our opponents. Coach, thanks very much. Thank you, Jay. Coach Reggie Withers is on in the postgame show. His team with a 12-point win. Back over to you, Richard. Thank you, Jay. We're going to take a look at the stats there. But one of the, you know, a really good win for the Griffs there. Again, the rebounding became a big issue for me. The turnovers certainly were not what they wanted, especially if they only been giving up the Griffs nine uh, per half here. But they overcame that. And St. Peter's, I think, kind of fell into a trap of just launching threes there in the middle of the second half there. But a nice, nice win for the Griffs there. And uh, played a lot of players. And I thought that was kind of interesting what Coach uh, Witherspoon was talking about there. I was looking at their, you know, little subtle things. 30 minutes for Molson, 31 for Reese. Certainly not as many minutes for Malik Johnson, only 25. Pretty, pretty good mix of using all those players in there. I think that paid off those last six minutes. Canisius with the win tonight. The player of the game goes to Canisius and not a huge surprise here to call Molson the freshman with 23 points. Uh, had a big first half a little quiet early in the second half but down the stretch made some big plays for the Griffs to lead them to victory tonight. Yeah yeah what a line nine for 12 four for six but he did a lot of good things and that's one of the best things there that pass he, he did and he's he, like Reggie was just saying he's a tough matchup he's physical he spots up he and Reese seem to be on the same page a lot and when everyone else Crumpton and um, Reese especially in the first half as a freshman to step up and that's that beautiful finish he had there. He really, he really saved them in that first half when the Griffs weren't in sync offensively. Next up for Canisius, a home game here on Sunday against Monmouth for St. Peter's. They'll go up to Niagara to finish up their Western New York road trip. So for Richard Walsh, I'm Jay Moran saying so long from the Kessel Athletic Center where the final was Canisius 70 and St. Peter's 58. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live on the ESPN app or to watch this entire game on replay as well as other games on our family of ESPN networks. You can log on to watchespn.com or download the Watch ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN.